of mine, you know, you know Ask me what I'm doing, just grinding Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more pins, tryna reach the next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photos So official with the vibe, you can pick up my zone Hold on for a minute, let me count mine, you know, you know What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Damian Cryer, and I am freaking back with another video, man. I am so freaking excited today. Oh my God, I'm doing something today that I've always wanted to do, but I never in a million years expected that I would be doing it. Yo, boy, man. Hey, listen, man. This is a very exciting day for me today, man. Very, very exciting. Before I get into this video, and tell you guys what I'm about to do guys I want you to go over and follow me on my Facebook page right now it's called the crier family on Facebook I will be putting a picture either here or here so you guys can know how to get to my Facebook page I'm dropping seven videos uh, every single I'm, well I'm dropping videos seven days a week over there that means every single day between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m., I will be dropping a video on the Cryer Family Facebook page. Uh, about three weeks ago, I took it serious and started doing more videos over there. I was at 380,000 followers over there for like the last seven months. Since I started uploading over there three weeks ago, we just hit almost 470,000 followers on Facebook. So this weekend, I believe we will hit 500k over there half a million man so thank you guys for all of the love and support man i know a lot of you guys don't like that type of content but for the people who do like that kind of content man it's not going to stop we're not stopping no matter what nobody say no matter what nobody think no what no matter what nobody think of me of how old i am to do what i do we're not stopping we're going to keep on going so if it's for you it's for you if it's not it's not but anyway thank you for the people who's going over there and showing me so much freaking love and support so today guys i decided to come to the nasa space center and i'm really excited because this is something that i always wanted to do i'm from a small city in uh, indiana called fort wayne and there we have airports but we don't have space centers so something like this man means a lot to me i watched like a lot of movies like when i was growing up i used to watch star trek um, I don't know if you guys remember that show, Dr. Spock with the big old pointed ears. They used to travel to other planets, other galaxies, and do all kind of weird stuff. And as of recently, I was tossing and turning one night and woke up and clicked on the TV, and there was another movie on that I had seen years ago called Armageddon with Bruce Willis, which happened to be one of my favorite movies. That inspired me to get up today, come to the NASA Space Center, because think about this for a second. How many of us and our entire life expandancy on this earth actually gets to see something in person that came from another planet. How many of us actually get to see a real actual spaceship? How many of us actually get to see real specimens that came from another planet? I don't know about you guys, but stuff like that means a lot to me because, I mean, it's different. It's something different. So I'm very excited to bring you guys along with me today. I had to call in for reservations today. And yes, it's just me, your boy, solo, doing my solo thing. And I am so freaking happy to be doing this for you guys, man. Um, again, this is going to be a really, really good experience for me. I'm really excited. I think I'm overly excited. So when I made my reservations, there's two actual trips. Both trips are actually one hour long. So I'm not for sure if I'm going to be able to make it to both. I know one starts at 4. It's an hour long. Another one starts at 2, which is just after 1 o'clock right now. So I'm going to try to catch one of them. Um, I did call in advance when I made my reservations and asked, was I allowed to film? I didn't say I was a YouTuber or none of that stuff. I just asked them, was I allowed to record? They said yes, as long as I didn't bring a huge tripod. So what I did was bring my camera and my small tripod. So again, like I said, this is gonna be a heck of experience, man. And for one thing that's for sure, I was able to bring you guys a lot of pranks, a lot of mukbangs and stuff like that, vlogs, story times, but I've never been able to bring you guys a video like this. So for the first time ever on a Cryer family, I'm gonna be able to bring you guys a video, a vlog of me at the NASA Space Center, man. This is, I mean, I am really, really excited, man. As I pulled into the gate, man, to park, 
I see nothing but huge rockets and stuff like that. So I can't, I mean, I can just imagine what it's looking like inside, guys. So anyway, I'm finna get ready to go up in here, man. Get myself situated, man. Oh, I'm so excited, man. I'm really more excited to bring you guys along with me because people said we want to see different type of content on the Crier family. And I stopped uploading on the Crier family for a while. And, you know, like, I'm like, well, you know, I got people over here who still genuinely support me. And I'm happy to do videos like this, man. So anyway, without further ado, let's get up out of here and let's go. Guys, I just pulled up to the Houston Space Center. Oh my God, look at this. This is the entrance of me coming into the Space Center, guys. Sorry, I got my GoPro all in the thing. I'm not for sure what the, that must be a rocket or something. Wow, this is awesome, man. Look at that, it says United States NASA. I am here. I gotta find a parking spot. Oh my God, I am freaking excited, man. It's the smallest things that really makes me very, very happy. Guys, we this is gonna be a good, fun experience today. There it is right there. It says United States Space Center. Hey, so now I gotta find me a parking spot, guys. I am so excited, so excited. This is something I've always wanted to do, but I never in my life thought I would be actually doing it. Wow, look at that. Okay, guys, so I finally found me a really, really good parking spot. So look, even a parking spot areas, like I parked in Apollo C. And this right here location is Apollo. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me zoom in there for you. This is actually called Apollo B. So it won't be hard for me to find where I park at. So check it out, guys. Let's see, I can get the zoom in for you guys, even though I'm walking up to it. Right there, Galaxy Lights. Right there on the building, it says Space Center Houston. Oh my God, I am really happy, man, because this is so freaking different for me. So I should have brought an extra battery because this video right here, I'm not even gonna cap to you guys. This may actually be a pretty lengthy video because I don't wanna miss anything. I mean, I literally don't wanna miss anything. Now, I don't know if this is the place where they have like the, you know what, uh, the actual live spaceships that they're actually gonna use but I'm finna grady walk over this way, show you guys this humongous plane. This is just like from, the, oh wow, it is a, oh, it's a spaceship, guys. Oh man, that mug is huge. Oh, you gotta, oh wow. Oh, I could, oh shoot, this is gonna be lit. I can actually go up in this thing. Let me turn this around real quick. Ooh, I'm about dressed right, man. Your boy throwing some black jeans, white tee. So, I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Holy cow, look, I want to get you guys a close up over there. I think, I, okay, on that tower, it looks like they're actually allowing people to go inside of the tower. I mean, go up the tower to go inside of the actual spaceships. So that's what I'm on. Look at that, man. Look how big that thing is. Let me see if I can get the zoom or zoom, zoom. Oh, goodness. I mean, it's literally just like in the movies, bro. Literally. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm even more excited. Yes, you can actually go inside of it. There's people that's actually entering the spaceship. Oh yeah, it's on. It's on and popping. Pay by phone. Nope, I'm not paying by phone. I'm paying in person. You can scan your barcode. Oh we. So this is what it looks like when you come into the entrance part of it. You just gotta like buy your tickets or whatever. Check it out, guys. So these are like your fees and stuff. Tickets, adults, children. In case you guys wanna bring your kids here or something. I just wanna just show you guys this in case you wanna, you know, if, if you're out here in the Texas area, the prices and stuff, you can actually pay online, scan the code. I'm actually just gonna pay in person, so I'm not gonna do the online thing. Okay guys, it's a little bit dark in here for a reason. But anyway, this right here is called, put this down, there we go. Scouting the Moon South Pole region. 
So this is called Scouting the Moon, uh, the Moon South Pole region. And this is what it looks like right here. Some type of little orbit thing. Oh God, they got food in here, man. Your boy is hungry, so that's perfect. Anyway, this is really nice, man. This place, I didn't realize how big it was. This place is freaking humongous. They have an actual another space center across the street where you can actually go over there and see how they actually prep and prepare when they're going out of space. So that right there is pretty awesome, man. It's a lot of stuff, guys. I don't even know where to begin. So this is a space, this is called Space Trader. This looks like where you can buy some memorabilia. Yes, this is a memorabilia store where you can buy like space memorabilia, like shirts and stuff like that. But we're not gonna go in there yet. We finna go over here. See what's up, man. Hey, I was coming through the door. The lady was like, sir, you've been smiling since you walked up. I've been nothing but smiling since I pulled up here because I never, I've always wanted to experience this before. So this is pretty dope. But anyway, enough of all that. Oh, look. I guess you can take photos right there in front of this thing. Space Center. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's see what we got here. You know what I do love the most? Most places I come to, the music is so loud, but I'm loving the fact that they don't have all that crazy loud music in the background. So it gives you a chance to really enjoy, you know, the video without hearing a whole lot of background noise. This is the guys actually working on a spaceship or they're actually prepping. Okay, this is mission control. This is actually their mission control right here. I want to make sure I show you guys everything. Okay. I don't know what this is. Some type of vessel or something. Oh, whoa. What's up, my man? What's up? What's up, brother? What are you doing up there, huh? Check it out. That's how it really is, man, out of space. They up there floating around and stuff. That's the vessel, I guess. So this must be a vessel that they are inside of. When they come out of that vessel, they're actually floating. Look at that. That's one of those, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, satellites, yes, that's a satellite right there. I'm gonna try to get it closer so you guys can see it. Like I said, guys, there is so much here to see. It's unbelievable. Satellite. Yep, that's an actual satellite. I mean, it's not the real one, but it's what a God is so big. I have to actually step back for you guys to see it. That thing is humongous. Satellites. Those are what's orbiting above us, man. Yo, that's how the FBI. Hey, listen, guys. Y'all think this is cap? That's how the government actually be able to watch us, keep track of us, cell phones and stuff like that. So, let's see. Oh, what is this? Oh, they have an astronaut gym? I guess that's an astronaut gym. So they actually have a, oh yeah, they have an actual ast uh, gym on the astronaut, I mean on the uh, spaceship. That's crazy, man. This is a gym that's on the spaceship, guys, believe it or not. I would have never in a million years thought that they had a gym on an astronaut. I mean, on a spaceship. I keep saying an astronaut. An astronaut is the person. Look at that. That's their workout station. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, what's up, homie? What's up, homie? How you doing? Hmm? You good, homie? Oh, man. He chilling. So this is the actual suit that they wear, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. Let's see what else they got. Oh, this is another one right here, guys. Check this out. This must be the female NASA suit. Wow. Yep, 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 this is the woman. 
I wonder if they have stuff in here from the challenge, the uh, Challenger spaceship that went down in um, 1985. Okay, these are the women who actually traveled to space. It's kind of blurry, guys. You can't really see it too good. This is another of the women's space suits. No, that, no, that's a guy space suit right there. A guy space suit. That look like us. Okay, I don't think a person actually goes in this. I think this is one of the ones that they launch. Oh, wait a minute, I could be wrong. This, this spaceship stuff is really confusing to me. But I guess this is how it is. These are the rocket boosters right here. You guys can see that. I think these are actually the booster. Yeah, this is the boosters. The rocket and these are the boosters right here. They help get this thing out there into another space. Check out this time capsule. I'm actually finna go to the mission center, guys, so we can see that big old aircraft that I seen outside. So I actually thought it was upstairs. It just looked like it's upstairs because it's so freaking big. But check out the rocket back there on the wall. That is a huge rocket. I was trying to show you guys this earlier, which is that satellite, but it is so big, you can hardly even, I mean, this thing is humongous, man. There we go right there. I got a good angle of it now. So that's what that looks like. And let's see if we can go over here to the mission center. <laughs> if you don't look up at the ceiling, you're going to miss out on a whole bunch of stuff. There is so much to see here. And it's, it's not just that it's a lot to see. It's a lot of education here, like our history, man. This is a lot of history. So it's a lot of stuff to see. Okay, this is the mission center right here. I think it's a long line. So here's this thing right here. That's pretty awesome right there. I'm thinking I can actually, I'm thinking I can actually go up there. Okay, there's a line. Yep. It's crazy. Okay, here's a food lab right here. They have a food court in here. You can eat food. We're gonna be eating today too. I don't know what yet. So anyway, this is the mission center. I have to see how to actually get into the mission center. I'm sure it's probably gonna be a long line, so we're gonna see. Check it out. This thing actually moves. Look at that. That's crazy. It actually moves. I think somebody's actually in it. Whoa. So anyway, guys, I have to go to Starship Gallery in order for me to get up there to the uh, big old spaceship. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Yep, the, oh my God, this is the line right here. Star, oh no it's not, no it's not. Starship Gallery. I have to keep putting my camera down so I don't get people in my, people who don't wanna be in here, obviously. Starship Gallery. Not for sure what goes on in here, but good Lord. And is there life out there on other planets, other galaxies? But more than anything, we hope to change our space telescopes to inspire the next generation of astronomers, astronauts, scientists, and so much more to also help us answer those questions. So if you want to learn more, guys, it's gonna be kind of dark, so I hope that you guys can see this. Look at the stars, man. This is actually what they call the Starship Gallery right here. There's a lot of people in here, so we gotta try to get what we can for you guys. See the stars on the wall back there? I'm not for sure what that is right there, but I know what that looks like. That's like a, a freaking missile right there, some type of rocket or something. 
pretty awesome, man. That is so awesome. Like I said, this is a place that you walk in. If you don't look up at the ceiling, you're gonna miss out on so much. Look at that. It says United States on it. How awesome is that? Look up here. I told you, if you guys don't look up, you're gonna miss out. So let's go over here. It's a lot of people, so I gotta keep putting the camera up. Okay, I think this is some type of control station. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty awesome right there, man. Look at that. Technology, man. Look at all the controls and stuff. Ah, look at it. Man, I would be so confused trying to ride this thing right here. All those buttons. A lot of equipment got a bunch of buttons on it, and a lot of buttons don't really mean nothing. It's just be confusing you. It only takes one button to really ride it, but I don't know. This could be different, guys. Comment down below if you think that a lot of these buttons that they use is a, is a little bit too over excessive. I think they are. That's just my opinion. Oh my God. Look up again. Wow, man. Look at that. Can it? Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. When they go up in this vessel and they come out, they got this long cord where they can float and it keeps them alive or whatever. And they can bring themselves back by that cord. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice, man. Wow. Look at this rocket right here. It is so dark in here, so I had to really turn everything up high for you guys. Look at that rocket right there. That, wow. United States of America. It's the technology for me, man. It's the technology. They got this whole wall full of history right here, but it's hard for me to show it because there's so many people, and I don't want to, again, put my camera all in their face, but just to give you guys, like, a little experience of what it's looking like. It has a lot of history. It has like old newspaper clips of this person and that person. Houston, okay, that's the Houston, yeah, these are the Houston Chronicles. Houston Chronicles. So we're gonna go around a little bit this way so you guys can see some of the history. Man, this is a really awesome place to come. I am like literally overexcited just to even be here to see this part of history, man. I mean, who knows? One day, we all might be living on the moon. And who knows? You may not have to be rich to do it. Maybe they take some of us poor folk with them. Who knows? <laughs> but anyway, let's check out this vessel right here, guys. Guys, there is so much to see. Look at this humongous thing, man. Can I even walk around this? Oh, this next one's dope, man. They got a space, it's a real space buggy. Or, or it's a replica of a, of a space buggy. Look at this. This is crazy, man. That's some type of satellite right there. This is how it looks up there, guys. This is like, this is a replica of how it actually look. I don't see like the canyon. Oh yeah, there's the canyons back there. They talk about the canyons in the movie, Razor Shark Canyons. I guess that's like the older version of an armadillo right there. I call it a space buggy, but look at this. No stars in the lunar. Lunar galaxy. Say so there's no stars in the lunar galaxy. If you guys look way back there in the back, you could actually see another planet. That's crazy. I'm gonna see if I can zoom it in. That's actually another planet back there.
<laughs> That's the knots on the moon. Check it out. <laughs> this is the um the buggy I was telling you guys about. I actually wish I could go up there and just sit on it, man. That would be pretty dope, wouldn't it? Okay, it's called a lunar rover. There it is, right there. This right here is the same exact thing. It's a lunar rover. Let me put that over for you guys. Okay, this right here, some type of, okay, this is a docking hatch. Wow, this is an actual dock, oh wow, this is not a replica, that's actually a real docking hatch right there, guys. Wow, how cool is that, man? Yep, what it says right there, it's a docking hatch. Not for sure what they do, but I'm sure it has something to do with when they land. Hope you guys are enjoying this video as much as I'm enjoying bringing it to you guys. Look at that. Those are the real space boots. Apollo something, something boots. Those are space boots. Man, this is some crazy history right here, bro. This right here is the Lunar Samples Vault right here. I'm going to show you how big this vault is. Oh, it's so dark that you guys can't really see it, but this is an actual vault. So let's go see what's inside this vault. Oh, these are, so it's actual samples. Let's see what kind of samples we got here. Oh, these are actual samples, guys. Holy cow. These are actually samples from another planet, guys. From Lunar. Hey, what up, long enough for you guys to better read this. It says, Lunar soil is unique. Over here. Man, this is actually what I came here for. I wanted to actually see these samples. I wanted to see these samples, man. Like, we'll never get to see these, like, unless you come to a place like this. Oh, wow. Look at this, man. These are lunar bile salt. Oh, bile salt. I can't even pronounce a lot of these words, but look at this. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. These are some type of rocks or stone from a different planet. Man. I mean, how often do you see things from a different planet? But you guys. Yeah, let's see this real quick. Oh, look at this. This is nitrogen. Oh, this is pure. Oh my God, this is pure nitrogen. Look at this. Oh, shoot, I didn't realize I was that close to the glass. Uh, 
astronauts brought lunar samples to Earth. That's what it says right here. Wow, this is crazy to actually see this. I almost thought that was a real person right there. I'm like, what the heck? Are they falling asleep on me? But look at the samples, guys. I think I'm more excited to see this than you guys are. I've always been infatuated with the ocean, like how big the ocean is, and like different planets, different stuff that they have to offer. Things that we've never actually seen before. It's, it's pretty crazy to see. Look at this, guys. Look at this. This is a fuel cell. This is a freaking fuel cell. Let's see what it says. Yeah, it is. It says Apollo Command Module Fuel Cell. Bro, that is a lot of technology. Look at everything that goes into this. All the detail. That is a lot of detail that went into this fuel cell. And they got this obviously behind the glass. I don't think this is actually a replica. Well, I'm not for sure if a lot, of, no. It's too much details for this to be a replica. I think it's the real deal. Wow, that's pretty awesome to see that. And over here, what do we have over here? This looks like an older command station or something. Oh wow, this is a mission control council, guys. I always hear that word, mission control. Ah, so the people back on Earth can monitor. You guys see all the people sitting back there behind the modules? Wow, this is crazy, man. Look at that. That's pretty awesome to see that right there. So let's see what we have here. This is a SM fuel injector. Goodness, guys, when we think of fuel injectors for our cars, we don't think of nothing this massive. This is huge. So this is a SM fuel injector. Yeah, pretty cool. It's a huge fuel injector. Imagine if our cars or our vehicles that we drive right now today had fuel injectors that big. We'd be paying $100,000 just for a fuel injector. Uh, and what have we here? He looks like some type of space capsule. Let's see, whoa. Oh, there's a guy inside of it. Ah, uh, check it out. I actually seen these in some of them space movies that I watch. Hey buddy, what's up man? Stafford? Mr. Stafford? Let's see what the actual name of this thing is. Let's see if we can find it. Here it is. This is called Apollo Soizu Docking Module Trainer. Oh, this is for training purposes before they actually go out there into space, man. Wow. Neat. That is really neat. And over here, what have we here? It says uh, 1972 portraits. Okay. Wow, look at that. Uh oh, we got a little blur going on. We got a little blur going on. Oh, that's pretty cool right there, man. Oh, these are like the testing. This is the stuff that they use for like the testing projects or whatever. Wow, that's pretty cool, man. And over here, is that a computer? What? It says, the Apollo crew visits Moscow. American and Soviet engineers examine the ASTP docking mechanisms following a test at JC, JSC. Oh, wow, guys, look at this. This was a computer. This is a computer. Imagine the computers that we use now versus the computers that they had in. Look, it says, it's an HP project computer. Wow. And this was an old tape recorder. This is a, wow, this is a Omega watch, guys. Let me show you guys. That's a Omega watch. It says it right there on the thing. Man, this history is crazy. What the heck? Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. What in, wow. Oh, I'm gonna go inside there. 
Okay, this is the exit side only. Look at this. Whoa, I don't even know what this is. Jesus. Okay, it's a long line for this, so I may not make it to go inside this bad boy. Jesus. Look how big this thing is. It's enormous. I don't know if I ever get on something this big in real life. Wow, man. You guys have to be here to actually believe this. Anyway, we have more stuff over here. I don't think I've been in this area. Those are some more of the, okay, those are Skylab boots right there. Skylab boots. Oh, wow, they got thermostat. Thermostat of Belize food. So that's, those are the cans back there. Hmm. It's pretty cool. It's a lot to see, guys. It is a lot to see. What is this? This is a, called a sky. This is called a Skylab fragment. That's what a Skylab fragment looks like, guys. But anyway, let's look at the rest of this humongous thing behind me. Oh wow! So this is all, is this all one piece or is it all connected? Come back here. Jeez. Look at the astronaut up there, guys. Like, they be up there really handling business like this in real life. I mean, in real life. <laughs> Guys, I'm not even gonna lie. This has been one freaking awesome, awesome experience for me, man. I, I mean, my mind is blown back, man. My mind is blown back by the amount of history that's inside this facility. It's just, it's just mind blowing. So, I'm actually about to get ready to get out of here, but I wanted to give you guys an exit I mean, I wanted to give you guys like a closer view of the actual uh, aircraft that actually carries the other piece on top of it that actually launches off into space. I mean, <laughs> I'm completely blown back, man. This type of stuff is the type of stuff I like to do, man. This is the type of stuff I like to see and experience because you only live once, man. So you got to experience life. This right here is just... Oh my God, I'm gonna turn the camera around, guys. See, I wanted to come out here, but I got something that just came up where I have to actually leave, but it's for a good thing. So I do wanna walk you guys around here real quick before I actually go. This is all gated, but just to show you guys, I'm gonna have to actually probably get across the street to get you guys a better view of this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. This is just crazy. <laughs> Just the size of this is just retarded. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that, man. This is just insane, man. This was, okay, Independence. I remember this from the movie uh, Armageddon, where I think the Independence had actually went down. They had sent two spaceships out to another planet because of the uh, meteorite. And one of the, um, spacecraft's name was the independence and so that's what this one says right here on top i don't know if this is the one that was used in the actual movie but when you do movies like that i think that they use some of the real stuff so this is the independence plaza right here that is so nice to see this man like like in real life even if it's just a replica it don't even matter it don't even matter but look at the size of this aircraft man look at that Man, that's like a Boeing 5,000, 5,000. Something like that. So anyway, it's time for me to head back to H-Town, guys. But um, I gotta remember where I parked my truck at, so I'm gonna see you guys in a minute. I gotta find my truck. Well, guys, that is going to be it for this vlog right here. I have to get ready to go home and get dressed for this evening. And, um, you know, it was really nice doing this video for you guys today. It was really something different. Um, 
that I wanted to bring you guys. And that's what I said in 2023. I want to start doing different stuff like on my channel. Because um, I'm not going to lie, man. After getting on other platforms and seeing how things is over there, I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing over here? But it's like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and keep it real and just start back uploading over here, man. Because I do realize that, you know, I got a few supporters over here who still enjoy seeing my videos and seeing my content and stuff. So I decided to go ahead and start back uploading on this channel right here. Um, and I do appreciate the people who's reached out to me. Um, all the wonderful, nice, inspirational and motivational comments and stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm gonna continue doing stuff like this, man, because you guys enjoy it. I enjoy bringing you guys this type of content and looks like I'm going to go ahead and start bringing you guys this type of content but comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video with me going to the NASA Space Center but anyway I love you guys man I'm gonna see you guys in the next video